Hello friends, Mr. Marks here again. When we were last together, I read a story called The Very Hungry Caterpillar, which changed into something spectacular at the end of the book. And that was an adult insect called a butterfly. And when we talked a little bit about the difference between bugs and insects, we talked about things that make up an insect. There were five of them, do you remember? One, they had a skeleton on the outside called an exoskeleton. Two, they had three body parts, a head, a neck or a thorax, and an abdomen. Three, they had three sets of legs, which are six. They had two sets of wings, and the wings were covered in scales. And last but not least, they have two antenna. And the funny thing about the antenna is that the antenna can smell and feel. And do you know how they hear? They hear through their wings. So just as a quick reminder, that reminder is that those insects go through something called metamorphosis. And the butterfly in particular starts out as an egg. It gets to be a caterpillar, which is the larval stage. It goes into a cocoon or a chrysalis where they call it a pupa. And then an adult insect emerges at the end. Now, one thing that I didn't bring up that I bet you don't know, but there are more than 20,000 different types of butterflies in the world, that means that there are billions of them. But do you know what? There are even more moths than there are butterflies. Now I have a book here called the Butterfly Alphabet Book, which shows some of those 20,000 different kinds of butterflies from all over the world. There are butterflies, like the Apollo butterfly. And I think they call it the Apollo because it flies so high. There are butterflies with bees, the Baltimore checker spots, that when you look close, their wings look like checkerboards. C is for the cracker butterfly. It makes noises with its wings that click. D is for the dog face. Look at those dog faces in the wings of that butterfly. E is for the eastern comma. You'll see these often if you were to go walking in the woods up north. The orange tip. Look at how pretty the orange tip of that butterfly is. The great purple hair streak. This is one of those kinds of butterflies that you see coming to your gardens in the spring. Here is the harvester butterfly. What's interesting is all butterflies drink liquids, but when this butterfly is a larva or a caterpillar, it eats bugs. How about this one? Can you find it? There it is. It's called the Indian leaf butterfly. Pretty good camouflage, don't you think? J is for the Jezebel butterfly. So pretty. And in Hawaii, they have a Kamachama. It's even so hard for me to pronounce. Kamahamahama butterfly, named for a famous Hawaiian king. I talked to you about the life cycle of a butterfly, from egg to larva to pupil, pupa to adult. There are lady slipper butterflies deep in the woods. You'll find these on your trips around Michigan. The Magdalena Alpine, high up in the Rocky Mountains where I get to go, 
Each winter, you might find the Magdalena alpine butterfly. The Narcissus jewel butterflies, look at how pretty and how different they are as male and female. The owl butterfly, it has an owl face on it. Take a look. They are attracted to fruit, like bananas. P is for the painted lady, looks a lot like a monarch. You can see these all over the United States. In fact, you can find these on every continent except for Antarctica. The Q is for the Queen Alexandra. It's one of the biggest butterflies. Actually, that's about the size of that butterfly. It's about as big as your dad's hand. There is the regal fritillary. It loves to be in the meadows in the middle of the United States. The S is for the snout. Look at the long snout on that butterfly. Scales, I told you earlier that the wings of butterflies are covered in scales. Aren't they beautiful? There are some butterflies that you can actually see right through them. They're called transparent butterflies. And oftentimes in the rainforest, you see them just like that. It helps them hide from birds and other things that would want to eat them. Here is the a moth, not a butterfly. One of the ways that you can tell the difference is almost all moth antenna end in a point and almost all butterfly antennas have little bumps at the end of them called clubs. U is for the Ulysses butterfly. For those of the, you that like blue, the Ulysses butterfly is probably your favorite. V is for violet copper. Most coppers are about the size of a copper penny, so they're really, really small. But the smallest butterfly in the world is the Western Pygmy Blue. It's not much bigger than the end of your pencil. X is for the Zammy Hair Streak. Look at how cute that is. If you were to go to Texas, you would find the Zammy hair streak. Why is for the yellow angled sulfur? I see these a lot when I am fishing. They love wet areas around rivers. And Z is for the Zephyr metal mark. Now metal marks have gold or silver marks on their wings that look like they're kind of made of metal. So Please be aware, that's the end of our story. And remember, 20,000 different kinds of butterflies. About 1,000 different kinds are in the United States. And you can see them if you look around while you're walking pretty much anywhere. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.